got a little tip for you regarding uh, graphing implicit, especially conics. It's the if you're using the TI Inspire CX CAS, again that CAS stands for Computer Algebra System, then you can use this zeros command, this little function that if I were to type in, oh something, how about let's go a little fancy on this this time. Um, how about if I did x minus two, and that part is squared, and then let's tab down here. Then we'll um, put a number in like three, and then how about plus? Do you see what's going to come? And then if we do y minus mm, two and um, close parentheses because uh, I wanted that to be squared, and I'll come down here and I'll put that in. Um, uh, oh, actually, I meant to make that other one squared, didn't I? Um, let's go with this one four, and we wanted it squared, and we wanted that one squared. And we'll make it a little more lively. There you go. All right, one more thing. Um, I need to say minus one because I'm solving this. This is saying equals zero, and we need to solve that for y. Uh, on the handheld, this might take a moment to think about doing all that, but ta dum, it graphs a lovely ellipse using the zeros. Now I'm going to jump over and uh, take something like this and try and I'm going to copy it. Control C is a nice way to copy it. I'm going to put it over here on a numeric inspire. On um, there we go. On this numeric inspire, we'll add a graph page. Again, you you can tell this is numeric because hey, look, it's um, it's the blue and white, or it's uh, it's a really blue. So it's been getting a bit darker as as years go on. Uh, so let's paste that Control V and show that no, this doesn't work. Ready? It says it's an unsupported function. This function requires the computer algebra system. Try the TI-Inspire cast. That's a nice um, thing to say, isn't it? Um, part of the reason why this came up is because there is this neat uh, thing, that ca um, the Batman equation, that was done, um, discussed recently on the Google group, the TI-Inspire Google group. So I'm going to show you that um, you could actually uh, do some nice things like this. Let's just copy this portion of it, Control C, and let's go to a uh, the, a 3D graph. So we're going to change the the view to 3D graph, and we will graph that portion of it, Control and V. Let's see, there it is. Oh, it got the zeros also. Didn't mean to get the zeros. Um, we just wanted this ellipse portion there. That's nice. Don't need these parentheses. It wouldn't hurt if they're there. Doesn't hurt if they're gone. Okay, what if I graph this? Well, it's going to be a little funny. Uh, in, in fact, um, I've got another example coming up that's kind of interesting. Um, but we wanted it to be zero. We wanted the z to be zero. Do you see that? You wanted the z to be zero. So what do I need to do? I need to change the range, the range settings from, mm, okay, I guess 5 to 5 is okay in the x and y. Uh, maybe it needs to be a little higher, but we'll, we'll live it for, the, for now. But the Z, the key thing is we want to look at the Z from a zero. So I made the, the minimum Z zero, and hmm, I can make the maximum one. That's fine. Um, now if I press enter and we look at it, yeah, I did need to make the, the X a little bigger. If we look at this, then do you see the ellipse? Um, here's a special tip. What if you just press the letter Z? If you press Z, then you're looking at it with the X and the Y. And doesn't that look a lot like what we had just graphed over there um, before? Um, and what do I want to do? I, I, I wanted to change that range. I wanted to make it just a little higher in the Y. So then we could see that also. How about 7? Seven? 7 will take care of it. Ta-da! There it is. You can use the times and uh, divide it by to zoom in and out of it. So that's a pleasant little example. And you could do um, a lot more complicated things. Let's um, take a look at another example. What about uh, the x squared plus x? Make sure you say times y, otherwise it'll be like, hey, what's x, y? Uh, y squared plus 2x plus 2y minus 3. And we wanted that to be equal to 0. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely little conic. So you could, you know, kind of play around with conics with using the 3D, even if you are using the numeric TI Inspire. As in other words, if you do not have the computer algebra system, then you can see a couple things. 
Uh, let's open up another page. Let's do another graph. And um, again, let's go 3D. And we'll get it set up here in advance uh, with the, the, the window, the range. And um, let's see, I think I want to go from, mm -hmm, how about negative 2 to 2, and negative 2 to, I think 3 will be real nice. Again, I definitely want 0, and uh, maybe I'll keep the 5 this time. All right, and whew, that'll be interesting. Um, here's the function I want to do. I want to graph x that gets squared plus y squared minus 1 raised to the power caret 3 um, arrow over and minus x squared y cubed and if we graph this hmm that's interesting what is going on here again let's look at it from the z direction ho oh, ho do you see that in the beautiful happy heart and uh, little times <laughs> Um, another one is fairly similar to this is uh, another lovely haha <laughs> get a lovely um, equation is y minus um, love this little using the root the cube root um, x squared getting out of here and squaring this minus one <laughs> um, did I forget something or did it, am I just not zoomed out enough? Um, well, thought it looked good. Hey, here's a nice thing. I've already got it done for you right here. And the function was, um, oh, that's a plus right there. That's what the story was. I can go over and fix it right now. So I'll come over here and up arrow, and we'll fix this to be a plus. Um, something seems funny. But it does have the heart on it. Um, let's view it around. Oh, you can see it a little better right there. Yeah, I think part of the the difference was that um, I had um, the Z was so big, and last time I had looked at it, I didn't make the Z that big. Let's go back to the range, and hey, what if I arrow up? That might be an easier way to get to this, and change that to just one. There you go, and you can zoom around them and see how pretty they are alright so that's and press Z we'll get to that view right there so those are a couple um, tips of how to have fun with some conics uh, part two of this I think I'll show you the Batman equation and how you can do this on the numeric inspire as well